That's not God. Amen? Amen. Give God a hand praise. He said, nothing waving, for he that waves like the wave of the sea, uh, driven with the wind and tossed. Keep reading, church. For let not that man think he what? <laughs> you won't get nothing. He said, a double-minded what? Man, And then write down at your leisure, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6. I'm giving you some scripture that you go home and you can really uh, dig into a little bit more. Amen? Amen. Now, I want to deal with... Uh, 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 to really walk in faith and don't be shaken uh, uh, by different things and, and, and we limit God when we start looking back yes we do there is not one scripture that God bless a person by looking back let's, let's deal with this, let me walk, walk this word tonight Luke chapter 9 verse 62 some people like to go back to being things yeah. And so you limit God when you go back to being things. And Jesus said, help me read, church. Let's, 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 we're going to wait for everyone to get it. Luke chapter 9, verse 62. And Jesus said, Now let me deal with this. The farmer used a plow so they could uh, uh, make the land real smooth so the seeds can fall. Amen. He said no man and this instrument that they used it was a two-edged instrument with blades on it. It and so he said it's dangerous for a farmer to have this instrument or this equipment and look back because you'll kill somebody. And so he said, if any man, he said, he said, no man put his hand to the plow and look back. He or she is not what fit for the kingdom of God. And so God is saying, how do you limit me by looking back? Back, going back. Going back. Uh-huh. And so when you go back, you take that old mentality back with you. Amen? Amen. I'm going somewhere. Let's go to Genesis chapter 19, verse 26. Thank you, sir. Let's, let's deal with this guy. Now, I'm going to show you something. And follow along with me. It's a quick glimpse of Lot's wife. And my study, I don't see anything else about this woman. It gave her one scripture. It says, but his wife, what? Behind him, and she what? Became a pillar of salt. And go to verse 27. Look at this. And Abraham got up early in the morning. Did they bury her? Did they have a funeral? He said Abraham got up early in the morning. It didn't say nothing else about Lot's wife. Because that's how God see by somebody looking back. Ain't nothing else to say. But let me, for those who are married. But his wife looked back from behind him. Him is the husband. And so it's so important that the man and woman or the husband and wife, they stay together. Uh-huh. So, so you, you look at your husband. You shouldn't be looking back. And that's why the man got to be in position. So that wife won't look back. So that wife won't go back. Amen? Give God a hand praise. Is this word happening? Well, give God another hand, praise. Let's go to Psalm 78, 41. Dealing with Israel, the Holy One of Israel, how they limit God. Psalm 
Psalms 78:41. Yeah, that's This is where happening why. Amen. Amen. He says, Yea, they have what? Turned back. Stop right there. They turn back. Stop going back. Stop looking back. Stop thinking back. Move forward in life. You limit God because you keep going back. Okay, your mama and daddy wasn't there. Keep going back. Why, mama? Why you didn't raise me? Why daddy left me? You keep going back, and so you limit God because you keep going back. You 30 some years old and still keep going back. It's over with. It's done with. God cannot do anything because your mentality is still back. And he can't do nothing for you, and so you limit him. He said, yeah, they have turned back and what? Tempted God and what? See, limited the Holy One of Israel. You limit me. I want to do so
get my spiritual swag back in the line. So don't limit God. Say, don't limit God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and let's, let's deal with this. We limit God because we proud. Is group TLC I'm not too proud of the bag? Is that correct? I'm not too proud of the bag. I go to God, keep begging him till I get it. I'm not too proud of the bag. Your pride gets in the way and you limit God. Let's deal with the scripture. First Timothy 6 17. First Timothy 617. Please bear with me. Normally not long-winded, but I got some word I want to share. Thank you, mother. First Timothy. Hope they don't get you after church mom. Uh, First Timothy 617. He says, charge them that are what? Rich. Keep keep read, reading. In this world, that they be not high-minded. Stop. Be high-minded. High uh -huh, that means proud. Uh huh. Nor what? Trust in our certain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. To all things to enjoy. Uh -huh. He said. He said I can't give it to you because you're high-minded. Because you got a couple degrees on the wall. Uh -huh. Because you got good hair. Uh -huh. And it's somebody else's hair. Talk back to me, church. And so you, you get puffed up and you get caught up in yourself. And God can't give you nothing. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Y'all know it's right. Give God a hand, praise. <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep building. Let's, let's go to Deuteronomy 32 and 20. Call them a perverse generation. My God. I believe this, that, that sometimes we get God get up angry when we don't act in faith. Because he dealt every man a measure of faith. And so